Alrighty, this is Aussie Gamer 17 and welcome back to another edition of Achievement College. For this video, we're going to be getting two achievements. We're going to be getting the Freedom Achievement for uh, finishing all optional objectives for the fifth and final story uh, prison mission of the game. And then we're going to get a second achievement for completing all five story missions, which is Throw the book at them achievement, and that's for 100 gamer score. Yep, that's right. You heard correct. 100 gamer score. Now, this achievement itself, uh, and this video, this story mission itself, is very, very different to the other four story missions. This one, this time, you're just given a blank slate, basically, and you've got to make your own prison from scratch. And the five optional objectives are just to complete certain grants, and we haven't even dealt with grants yet in the game. So I'm going to sh take you through what the five grants are and explain how we're going to get each one. And the five grants that we need to complete are the Basic Detention Centre Grant, the Administration Centre Grant, the Security Procedure Certification Grant, the Inmate Health and Wellbeing Grant, and the Prison Management Grant. As I said before, this achievement is very, very different to all the other ones we've got so far. Um, and I'm just going to try and cut this down as much as I can and uh, just take you through the little steps here and there, what I needed to complete to get all these grants. Uh, but you will have to, you know, put in some of your own work and build all the structures and that yourself. I'm not going to go into detail on how to do all of that um, because we all know how to do that by now. Um, and the main thing is just ticking off each thing or each uh, bit of criteria to complete each grant. All right, so the first step to completing a grant is actually going into the grants menu and selecting a grant to, uh, I guess, accept or to take on. Uh, and we can only accept two at a time, so I'll, I'll mostly be working on two at a time. Um, and what happens is when you accept one, you get a little bit of a cash bonus up front, and then you get paid out the rest of the uh, cash for completing the grant. So here's the first uh, one that we're going to choose. We're definitely going to do the administration center. Um, that's help, that helps us get set up uh, to then uh, look after our finances a little bit better. That's the thing you have to be careful with with this particular mission is spending too much money too early and running out of money before you can um, put the right infrastructure in place. And here we go. I'm just going to choose the basic uh, detention center grant and also the administration center grant in a second. There we are. And once we've selected both grants or two grants to start with, what we need to do is just work our th way through the list of criteria that's required to complete each grant. Uh, the first thing I want to do is head into quick rooms and use that to build us a canteen and we'll place it somewhere over here. There we go. We'll put it there somewhere. I'm going to have to uh, change the doors around at some point. I'll grab a large prison door now and put one down the bottom. It'll become clear later what I'm doing. Uh, I'll put one here and I'm going to put another one up the top. Um, or I'll just put a kitchen with a door um, to connect that to the top as well. And back into quick rooms, select a kitchen and just join that to the top of the canteen. Uh, we'll flip it around so the door joins up. There we go. And then I'll grab a staff door so the staff have an entrance to the kitchen as well. And we'll pop it there. And now back into quick rooms and this time we're going to be looking for a shower. What we're basically doing is we're getting the place ready for when we uh, build cells and have prisoners. I'm going to put the shower over here opposite the canteen, like so. All right. And now we also want to grab a holding cell. So quick rooms again, holding cell, and that's so that we'll be able to house some prisoners before we've had a chance to build some proper cells. So grab that, we're going to pop that down right beneath the shower. And now what I want to do is put down a foundation for a yard. So I'll put that somewhere here. Like this, yeah, that'll do. And hopefully, don't forget to put a door in. We're gonna use that corridor along the uh, top of the shower and yard as the entryway for this. And then head into rooms and we're gonna designate this little area as a yard. 
like that. And now we're going to go over to staff and we're going to hire a couple of cooks uh, for our kitchen so that they're uh, preparing food for when we do have prisoners. And we'll also hire some guards to make sure we've got someone to look after those prisoners. Okay, now that our holding cell shouldn't be too far off completion, we want to prepare ourselves for um, guard, uh, for prisoners. And what we do to get prisoners is we go to intake. So we haven't done this before in this game yet. Go into intake and we can choose what type of prisoners we want. I usually go for medium security as much as possible. Our holding cell is going to hold eight prisoners. So that's all we, can, all we want to intake for now. Even though it does tell me that I could have done 12, but I'm just going to do eight just like that. Okay, and everything we've done so far has been for the Basic Detention Centre grant, but now we can start thinking about the Administration Centre grant. Go into Quick Rooms, and what we want to do is grab a couple of officers. Alright, so we're going to start the uh, staff area of our prison up in the top left corner here. Pop one office there, and I'm going to put another one right next to it, like that. And then we need to go into higher staff and we're going to put a warden in the first office. So he'll be ready once the office is built. Put a warden there. Now I'm just showing you all these early steps to basically to show you how I set up the prison early on so to make sure that I don't run out of money. And we're going into bureaucracy now and what we want to do is research finance so that we'll be able to uh, hire ourselves an accountant. So go and select that one. Uh, the next thing we need to do in preparation for our uh, prisoners arrival is run power and water to our facilities so we're going to go back into quick rooms we're going to grab a utility and we're going to place it in above our kitchen here right about there okay the other thing i should let you guys know is that i've actually paused the time so time's not moving while i'm setting all this up um, and now I want to grab a, another office and put that in here as well. Just uh, flip it around and put it there. Now I sped up time a little bit and all of our stuff that we built early on has now finished and that's uh, completed the basic detention center grant. So now we can choose another grant. Having a look at cell block A, but we can't grab that one yet. It's still locked. Before we can get another grant, we actually need the accountant. So we speed up time until the accountant's available and hire her. And that will actually complete our second grant now. So we've got two of the five optional grants completed already. Going very well. Now head back into grants. And what we want to do is we want to pick up cell block A, even though that's not one of the optional objectives. The reason we're doing that is because the more uh, prisoners we have, the more money we'll make and it'll make everything easier. So pick that one up. And the second one we'll pick up is the security pro, uh, hang on, what's it called? The security procedure certification grant. Not only because it's one of our optional objectives, but also because we're going to need some guards to look after all these prisoners we're going to take on. And now we're going to start building our first little cell block so that we can house all these inmates that we're going to uh, be getting. Uh, the first uh, step is to go into rooms and pick out, uh, sorry, quick rooms, and we're going to pick uh, the cells and make a row of those. I'll show you how I go about making this first little cell block, but then after that, I won't um, bore you guys with showing you the whole video of all of them, but um, whenever we need more cells, I just keep adding them on. Whenever I've got enough cash, we just add cells on, add showers, add a, a yard for recreation if we need to, and just keep adding as many cells as we can um, for as long as we need to for, the, for all the grants that we pick up along the way. And there's a second row, but we're leaving a space uh, for a corridor down in between the bottom one and the next one up. And we'll put another row there, leaving that same gap again. That'll do to get started. Now we need to head into bureaucracy and we need to uh, start researching patrols so that we can uh, get some guards on patrol. So click that one on the far right to start researching that. And another thing we need for our guards is we need to hire a guard chief and he needs an office which we prepared earlier so pop him up there. 
And now we can hire some guards and we're going to pop them down in where we're building this cell block so that they can start uh, patrolling that area and the holding cell as well. And now I've sped up time a little bit so I can get my uh, cells construction under the way. I'm going to hire some more guards as well. We need 10 in total. And that's seven so far. No, eight, uh, nine and 10. There we go. Now I've cut out the bits where I um, am running all the power, the electricity and the water to all these buildings. Uh, if you're up to here, you already know how to do that and you don't need me holding your hand showing you how to do it. Next thing we actually need uh, for this uh, grant is we need to do some guard patrols. So just creating a couple of patrols here. We're gonna put one there in the, uh, in the actual cell block. Place one here in between the canteen and the showers. And we need three for this grant, so we'll place a third one just here, just to tick that box. Then you need to move across to the uh, guards so that you can uh, post guards on each one. So click on the three uh, patrol routes and post the guards like that. And that will complete the security procedure certification grant. So we can start another grant and we're gonna uh, choose prison maintenance and start that grant now. For the prison maintenance grant, we need to head into bureaucracy and we need to research uh, the groundskeeping and also the cleaning. So select both of those to start the research there. However, to get those working properly, we actually need a foreman and a foreman needs an office. So we're gonna put another office up here, not a cell. Yeah, move across to office. And we'll put that here. We're gonna leave a corridor between these two offices. And make sure you fill any gaps like this with concrete walls, any little gaps like that around the prison. I've done a few off camera, so just have a look around your prison for those. Um, just preparing for our uh, guests so they don't escape. Now head into hire staff and we'll grab ourselves a foreman and just hire him, placing him inside his little office that's uh, under construction. Now you'll see up the top that we've got eight prisoners but we can hold 12. So I'm just gonna go into intake and make sure we grab another four. Um, and just, just do that routinely whenever you see a little gap forming up the top. We just wanna keep it as close to capacity as we can. And you can um, update this number anytime before the arrival of the next uh, group of prisoners, which is every morning at around eight or 9 a.m. I think. Now, I just wanna speed up work a little bit and I haven't got too many workmen, so we're just gonna hire a few more of those. Head into hire staff and grab us quite a few of those. What's that up to about 16? Let's go up to 20. Yeah, that should do for now. Now, I'm gonna go into intake again and uh, bridge that gap again, but I'm not gonna show you guys every time I do this. So this is something you just need to be aware of every time. Just check that periodically, check that your uh, intake is up and matching the uh, capacity of your prison. The other thing you wanna do is always check the, once the prisoners start arriving, is check prisoner needs. I won't show you too much of that. And that just is how we keep track of what we might wanna build next. So if they're hungry, we need to build another canteen. If their uh, hygiene's a bit low, we need to build another shower and so on. And now that everything's sort of caught up, I sped time forward a little bit. It's time to put in a few more cells. So I'll uh, skip forward to where I, um, to when I've uh, finished doing that. So just two more little rows for now, and then I'll build a few more on top of those uh, when I get a chance. Okay, and now it's time to hire some janitors to keep our prison clean. And that's available because we completed the cleaning research. Just uh, three or four of those for now. And then you just keep an eye on your environmental needs of the prisoners. And if that gets uh, red, then you hire some more janitors. And we've also completed the groundskeeping research so we can hire a gardener as well. I think he's very, fairly similar to the janitors. He keeps the outside clean, but I only need one of those. And that completes the prison maintenance grant. So now we can go into grants and start another one and get our little cash bonus as well. And now we've only got one more optional objective to complete, which is to uh, complete the inmate health and wellbeing grant. So select that one and we'll start that. 
Uh, doesn't mean we're close to finishing this though. We have a lot more to do after we've completed these grants to finish the prison um, and get through the mission and pick up the two achievements that we're going for in this one. And now we're going to pick up the government security ratings uh, grant as well for a bit of extra cash. Alrighty, so now it's time to do a little bit more work on our staff area. We're going to put another office in here next to our other one on the right there. Flip it around, leave the door in the corridor there. And we'll put a staff room right below that as well. Going to put it right there so that they can use that door as a bit of an entrance into the staff area as well and put a door there so that they can get through the staff room into the corridor. All right, head into bureaucracy again. This time we want to research health so that we can start to build an infirmary and hire some doctors and that sort of thing. So click that one. And we also need to go across and start researching dogs so that we can hire some dog handlers and make a kennel, that sort of thing. And thirdly, we need to research armory uh, so that we can uh, also start to hire armed guards. That's part of one of the grants we've got. We also want to hire a psychologist, but before we can do that, we need to research psychology here in the bureaucracy tab. And the next part of our grant is that we need to build a medical ward. So I'm going to place a foundation down and this is going to form our infirmary and our morgue and that'll that'll complete our ward and then we can hire doctors as well once that's completed for our other grant we need an armory so that we can hire some armored guards and put them on patrol eventually so we're just going to make a little uh, foundation up here for the armory next is because we've uh, we've researched dogs we can now hire some dog handlers so i think we'll uh, we'll grab three of those just chuck them up here for now Okay, and we want a kennel for them, uh, but don't do what I ended up doing. Make sure you put down a foundation for your kennel. Just makes the whole thing a lot easier. I think I, I ended up trying to just do a, um, a room as the kennel and then building a wall around it. And it just, I could not get it to work and I couldn't figure out why. But if you start from scratch and you just build a foundation that has walls already and just add a door, and then your little dog crate, that will build your kennel and you won't have any problems. So do as I say, not as I do here in the video. Because you can see here, I'm just trying to draw the area um, on the ground, which it lets you do, but it just caused so many problems. All right, that's enough about that though. And now it should be time to hire our psychologist and just throw her in one of the offices up here. Not quite complete, but uh, once it is, she'll be uh, put to work. Our foundation for our medical ward is finally ready. We're just going to put a wall across here. So the bottom section is going to be our morgue and the top section will be our infirmary. All right, so mark the rooms and put some beds and things in. And then what we can do is hire two doctors. That's part of our, our grant that we're completing as part of this achievement. So make sure you do that. And I just spent half an hour off camera trying to fix the kennel with no success. Just turning this room into the armory now. But don't worry if you've had a similar problem with your kennel. It doesn't affect our um, ability to pass this uh, grant and therefore get the achievements. So just don't worry about it. And with the completion of our medical ward, we've actually finished the inmate health and wellbeing grant. So that's all five optional objectives completed um, so that's good that we've gotten that far but now we just have to uh, pass the rest of the mission so to speak so that we can pick up that achievement and we'll get the extra 100 gamer score for passing all five story missions as well just going to pick up an extra grant here just to give us an injection of cash so we'll select the reform through education grant and we'll get started on that one as well all right, now the next step is to create some patrol routes for our dog handlers and for our armed guards when they're ready. So we'll uh, put one along the uh, south fence here, sort of where we're going to be going to end up building um, the cell blocks around that anyway. 
and then put a dog handler on that one. If I can move the camera up here, we'll put a uh, patrol route all the way over here. Why not? Yeah, just down there like that. Make sure we put a dog handler on that one as well. And we'll come back to these later to put uh, the uh, armed guards on this. We can put them on the same patrol routes to take care of that grant. Now it's time to add in some more cells, but I'm going to do that off camera and I'll show you guys the finished product later. Okay, so we've put in another 10 cells and another shower block down the bottom. And now our armory is ready so we can hire a couple of armored guards. So grab a few of those. What's that? Four or five of them. And then we can add two of them to our patrol routes that we made earlier for the dog handlers. So just adding them to the same routes as the dog or the dogs, dog handlers. There we go. All right, so this shows you a bit of the uh, the start of my prison. And now that we've passed all the optional objectives, all we're doing from here on out is we're grabbing grants and ticking off the boxes associated with them as we go. And whenever we can, we're just gonna to add to that cell block down the bottom and get as many prisoners in as we can. Get to about 100 would be ideal, and then maintain it at about 100. And that'll be bringing in plenty of money so that we can um, get that balance of 60,000, which is one of the things we need to finish this mission. I'm gonna skip the video ahead and let you guys uh, figure all the rest out for that. Um, but if you do get stuck or you're having any trouble with it, just post a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you and help you out. So I'll uh, skip the video forward and I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, wouldn't you know it, I've just managed to complete everything and my prison's just got its first riot. But I am going to bail and run. Go over here, pick up the snapshot, end the mission. And here we should get, there's number one. There we go, our first achievement out of the two. That's for just passing this uh, mission, completing all the optional objectives. And there we go, 100 gamer score for passing all five story missions. If you've been following along my five videos covering those five missions, that's the 100 gamer score right there. All right, do you hear that? That's the bell, that's the end of this session of Achievement College, uh, but we're going to be back with a lot more. We're going to do a few more achievements for this game. There's a couple in there that are almost impossible, so we're not getting all 1,000, uh, but I'll show you a few little ones that we can get um, some easy easy gamer score, um, but also enjoy it as well. I, I enjoyed this game a lot more than I thought I would. Um, the achievements are good. Those story missions were fun, and You'll see uh, coming up next will be some of the sandbox missions where you start from scratch and build your own prison. I'm enjoying those as well and a few little tricks to get a few achievements. So uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Plenty more Achievement College to come. Uh, but for now, I will catch you all next time.